Hello, I'm Lisa Capaluti. I'm with the State Bar Litigation Section. I served as a chair, and I also have been on the committee for several years. I'm here to give you advice as a new practitioner about your first activities as a lawyer and in the profession to help you have a more smooth transition from law school to the practice of law. First, I think the most important thing is that you understand that in the beginning of your practice, you're going to have lots of different experiences, and they all don't necessarily um, mean that your future is not going to be as bright and exciting as you hoped. There's a lot of learning in the first years and a lot of challenges, but they're worthwhile if you stick with them. Many people do join organizations, and I highly recommend doing that because it helps you talk with other lawyers who are your peers, and if you join organizations where there are more senior attorneys, you can often get advice about the situations you're dealing with and also have an opportunity to network in the community for other professional opportunities. Most people who start as lawyers have had very few jobs or have maybe not even had a full professional job in their first uh, year of practice, and they're a little unsure about what they need to do in their first position. I always recommend making sure that you show up well-dressed early and make, sh make the effort to coordinate with the, whoever's the hiring people at the office, but also say hello to every single person you meet and try to get to know people as quickly as possible. Taking people to lunch, taking time out to talk to people, get to know a little bit about them is a very important part of getting started on the right foot in your first new position. When you start in your first job, you also want to make sure that you always have a, a pad and paper or some way of taking notes so that you can keep track of the assignments that you're given or the different areas of information you need to know to provide the work and projects that you'll be involved in for your first job. Again, it's really important that you are clear with the people you're working with and you're always polite and professional, but it is helpful to make sure that you understand each of your assignments and ask for perhaps guidance where needed. It doesn't hurt to repeat the assignment every time you're given one and then clarify the deadline when a draft would be expected and make sure you have a pretty good understanding of what the person who's asking you to perform the task has in mind. If that person has other people that work with them frequently it's also helpful to speak with them to see what type of work product or type of um, methods to use in getting back with that person. Remember, a lot of the people you're working with are also in very busy schedules, so you want to make sure that when you have um, your project completed that you schedule time in to go over the assignment and what you've created. Once you've gotten your initial assignment, it's really important to understand what your goals are and what the client goals are in preparing that for your client and for the pr people you're working with in your team. Resources that can be helpful for you are a practice guide, case law research through one of the online research uh, tools. You can also use examples from other attorneys. I would caution you though when you're working with other people's uh, work product to avoid copying and pasting into your own projects. I think that those ideas from other people are meant to remain as ideas and if you start copying and pasting you're very likely to get the wrong case name or typographical errors in your work which will not reflect well on you or in the worst case scenario might show up at a, in a motion that you present to a judge later. When you're working on your assignment make sure that the point of your uh, work is at the top of the assignment and if you're preparing a motion for a judge make sure it is very clear the relief you are seeking and what you are trying to accomplish and the basis on which you're seeking it. Different judges have different approaches. If you have the chance, it will be helpful for you to go to that department and try to see that judge present oral argument or discuss the judge's interpretation on any types of motions that the judge is hearing. That will help you see how different attorneys may present different arguments to that judge and it will also help you see the pace and the timing of the judge's questions and follow-up on the various motions. 
even if you don't have the chance to see the judge that you expect to be hearing your motion preside for oral argument, going to any type of law in motion or any type of trial in court will help you get a sense of what it's like in practice to present oral argument or to engage in trial activities in the courtroom. This is obviously much different than it was when you were in law school, and so it's really important to get as much experience watching others do it as you possibly can. This type of experience is also helpful in preparing for depositions. If you can attend a deposition in advance of when you will be taking or defending a deposition, it will be much easier for you to understand what your goals are and how to accomplish them. Make sure you are well prepared in advance of your deposition and have your exhibits prepared, you've met with your client or you've met with any of your team members if you're taking the deposition to understand the goals of your case. And make sure you are really well prepared under the, uh, the rules of the Discovery Act to know what the requirements are for your specific deposition. Some cases are different depending on the type of case and there may be some pre-existing rules if the depositions are a series of depositions within your case that some of the other lawyers have already discussed before you arrive. Now, in the beginning of your practice, I guarantee you, you will be in situations where multiple people are asking you to do this, uh, similar projects with the similar due dates. Every single attorney in the beginning of their practice has to deal with these types of issues. It's always important to try to be uh, available for assignments at all times and try to juggle the assignments by working on the things that are due first in, uh, as a priority. If you feel that at some point in juggling the various assignments you're working on you really are at an impasse with regard to the deadlines, you may want to reach out to the various attorneys giving you the assignments and ask them if there's a way that they can prioritize amongst the other attorneys that have provided the assignments to give you a little more leeway in terms of having an understanding of when people uh, that, that you're working with will need to be reviewing your work product. Especially in the early years of your practice, you may need a little more time on the assignments than maybe some of the other more senior attorneys, so you want to build that in as early as possible. You want to make sure that the minute you get your assignments, you start working on them right away, that you clarify the objectives, and you begin preparing them so that you can get a draft out as soon as possible because often the assignments that you're working on may not only be reviewed by the partners that you work with, but also will be sent to clients and or in the event of an in-house counsel setting, may be reviewed by a corporate counsel in advance of being submitted. If you're working with a team, you always want to verify the various aspects of the assignments your other team members are working on and make sure that you are coordinating with them and that everyone is on track. It's really very critical that you don't get yourself in a situation where a team member is expecting you to do a part of an assignment that you didn't understand you were performing and when you get down to the deadlines of providing the drafts and the final work product to either the client or other attorneys in the office that the full assignment is complete. This will also involve you working with the staff, administrative assistants, copy services, messenger services, which all need to be coordinated very carefully to make sure that all of the pieces of the assignment are coming together in a timely fashion. Don't assume that if a motion is due to be filed on a given day, that that's the day that you are ready to complete it. Often you'll have to be presenting exhibits, having photocopies made, and you'll need to have time to put those documents together in advance of the filing deadline. Of course now, many of the courts use electronic filing uh, opportunities and you want to utilize those as well if you can. The bottom line in practicing law is that it can be a very rewarding experience. It's also very challenging and it's constantly an area in which you'll be learning. But if you stay on top of it and you stay focused and you work with others and then you gain some mentorship from others in the community and you find things to do that you really enjoy, it will be a good experience for you. Thank you.